Hey guys, so once I've experienced this um, automatic rigging framework and sequential code, I could not come back. So um, this idea is super simple. Like basically you have uh, a sequence of code files which execute one after another like this, right? And they're just code files. So you can go ahead and edit the code and you can see it in Python, um, and I've done videos about that too. They're supposed to be pretty simple and uh, you know pretty clean, but they could be anything. And so you can build your rig that way, just basically run it step by step, step back, step forward, edit, tweak, add parameters, and uh, you know you can build all kinds of rigs. So this uh, builds me a humanoid rig which is, you know, fully compatible with MetaHumans and Epic Skeleton. And there's some nice features that it has, uh, such as, you know, obviously selection, uh, zeroing out controls. You can switch to A pose and uh, bind pose. You can uh, toggle IKFK uh, for, uh, you know, select the controls. You can also uh, snap IKFK, so like if you, for example, move your character like somewhere, you can just snap it. So for instance, if you just select it here, uh, snap IKFK, and there you go, right? And uh, another thing that you can do is uh, you can also mirror your poses uh, here. So yeah. This is like, it has a lot of different features. Um, you can export animation to FBX. Um, so this is, you know, a pretty simple rig, but functional. The other thing that this comes with is a quadruped rig. And so that one is basically uh, gonna build you a horse. And I've done a whole tutorial how you can uh, change this into another model, another skeleton and uh, tweak it to your liking uh, just by modifying those code steps and duplicating them. It's actually a pretty simple process. Uh, but yeah, this is like the basic uh, basic horse rig uh, with all the features here. Um, nothing too crazy, IKFK and everything else. The deformation is pretty basic, but it could be definitely extended on. And so recently what I've been working on is, you know, because coding is cool, everyone uh, that's quite technical can do it but there is also another way to rig uh, using like uh, templates so this also comes with this uh, new template now that I've just made it's like a uh, auto rigger and that could also be done and basically here in the auto rigger you have an option to to choose when you run this first step do you want to make a completely new rig from scratch using those steps and configuring them or do you want to pick a safe template? And so I've built some things already here. Um, I made like a ghoul, which is basically a mixamo character. So it's going to build you a, um, a ghoul, which is the character based on mixamo skeleton. So I made that model and I rigged it in mixamo. And then this now has exactly the same rig uh, that I was using uh, in other places for my characters. And uh, yeah, so like, you know, this is basically the idea here that you could rig anything using that system. And uh, you can see those characters running around in my game, which is a personal project, but without it, I wouldn't be able to pull this off. And recently I've been working on uh, making a bear. And so basically, you know, if you just open this auto rigger, you can always just uh, make a new config and you can just copy it somewhere else or like relink it and modify it and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to create another character which might be a completely different character so in this case I was making this bear and basically just to show you how I was doing it uh, I like made a new template here and then you know makes a new scene, loads the skeleton here, now I can pick my bound file 
So I have this bound file that basically is this bear with a skeleton and skin. And so this is something that you know you always need to have, whether it comes from Mixamo or somewhere else, or you just made it yourself. Um, that's one of those things I'm using, and then I don't need all those Mixamo steps here because it's not Mixamo character. Now this step is interesting because you can import your rig modules and for now those are the rig modules we have. Like let's say we want to bring a global control and IKFK spine, right? So how does this work? Well then I just basically have to find the end for the spine. So this is the end of my spine attachment and then I just attach it there. This is the beginning of my spine, which is the hips and I just attach it there and then I just grab the plug which is like a there's a node here like a plug and I just plug it into my global control uh, connect plugs right and then my global control it also needs to be attached to a uh, root joint so you just attach it and now basically it's gonna build you a IKFK spine so you can save it as your configuration um, an IKFK spine with a global control and that's exactly what happened here so uh, as you can see it has no legs uh, but it already has all the spine elements and it's it's working together so yeah it's as easy as that my friends if you uh, open that config that I was working on you'll see how this builds a whole bear let's just make a new template and uh, let's load that bear and so in here, I already have a pre-saved preset for this bear because I just saved it last time I made it and it looks somewhat like this. So it has all the legs, all the joints and whatnot. And then uh, I'm going to build it now. So it's going to build all those rig components one by one uh, for all the feet and tail and jaw and whatnot. And then now the next step is configuring spaces. So this is something where I can configure, uh, like I can add space switching for different controls and I can just do it manually or I already have it predefined here, but basically you can add it by adding your control first here and then adding the other controls that it's connected with. So you see like all my pole vectors have this predefined here and then configuring aliases I can name them something nice if I want and then I can just save and close and when I run this step it's actually going to build me those space switches so if I select any of those you'll see it's there you can switch and the next thing is editing shapes so like uh, with that I have I, I can edit all my shapes so uh, they are um, you know like pretty nice and that's definitely fitting with the rig much better so here I uh, left out this one on purpose so I can just go ahead and uh, change it for instance like maybe I just want to rotate it like this and scale it right something like that and then uh, Yeah, so, so I just modified that, uh, that jaw controller and then basically what I'm going to do is um, save current shapes and I'm going to name it bear rig or I can name it something else and then basically just going to save them. Save and close. So now if I step back and load again, it's going to add those shapes. Then setting up T-Pose. Now this is something that we don't need a T-Pose for a quadruped rig, but if you want to have a default pose that's different, you can. So this is like a configuration for it. Um, so this tool is basically like able to mirror poses and it's able to snap and switch IK for the whole rig. Uh, anyway, I just save and close it uh, now. And then the last step is just cleaning it up. And then now we just basically have a full rig that we can animate and we can save it as a new build. So that's how this outer rigger works. And you can see it in action here. I was animating some walk cycles. Uh, I'm still working on them, but as you can see, this rig is, uh, you know, fully functional. Uh, so yeah, this is my bear walking. 
and I'm gonna put in my game amongst all the other characters I built using the system. So yeah, this is a really cool system. If I have more time, I'll push it and release it to public. But for now, uh, it's just an internal thing I've been working on. Just want to share with you guys. Mmm. 